Hi, welcome to CareStream NDT YouTube video channel. I'm Steve Mango, Technical Manager for CareStream NDT, and today I'm going to show you the basic operation of the HPX1 computed radiography system by scanning an imaging plate and acquiring an image. I'm actually going to scan an imaging plate and create an image. Um, I'm going to demonstrate by using a 4.5 by 10. As you can see, we have a high resolution or white version and an even higher resolution blue version. Uh, make many, many different sizes of plates, but I'm going to start with those. And first thing I'm going to do is put in the feed tray. Now, right now I'm operating in normal room light which you can probably do for a few seconds, but the ideal environment is subdued lighting where you can just barely see shadows of your, your hands and things, but you have plenty of light to work safely. Uh, a little bit of room light, ambient light, doesn't hurt the plates, but still, when I put a plate in, I'm going to put the uh, cover down to minimize any effect of the ambient light on the plate. So, next thing I'm going to do is, um, Make sure that I have my system communicating with the scanner, which we do, green light and the icons ready. And I'm going to go to my file, scan and array setup, just to check my parameters, make sure I have the proper plate size and resolution set. I've got my laser power and PMT gain where I want them. And I can either start the scan here or I could just apply this and close that window because there's a couple of other ways to start the scan. I can go to my tools and click on the scanner icon and hit that or I can go right to my reader and press the green button that says it's ready to scan. So normally I would close the uh, lid to protect from the ambient light but I want to show you how the plate goes in and erases and comes out. So I'm going to leave it cover open and press my green scan button and initiate the scan and you'll see the plate uh, go into the reader. Come on, baby. So the plate's going in right now. It's going to scan it with the laser, read it, create the image, and when the image is created, it's going to ask me if I want to erase the plate or not. And uh, when I initiate the erase, you'll see the plate come back out. So the plate has uh, gone through the reader, the image has been created. The software is going to ask me if I want to erase the screen and I'll say yes. Now based on the smart erase, it knows from the laser power setting and the PMT setting and the pixel values in the image, it knows how much dose is on that imaging plate so it knows exactly how much to erase it and we don't get the plates over erased and taking longer time than is really needed to erase it. So the plate's already out, and that's the whole imaging cycle. And by the way, when we're reading flexible plates, we can put in more than one plate at a time. So in this case, I can use these guides, which are optional. I can also butt the plates together if I'm careful. But we do have guides to slip in here uh, to put the plates up against so I can put in two or more plates and actually define the scan area that I want to scan. So I can do multiple plates as well. 